Hey everyone, it's Stellar Noon. Gong Hei Fat Choi. Happy Lunar New Year! Being half Chinese and half Caucasian, I wanted to share a family tradition and a craft that merges both geek fandom and Asian culture. Under the 12 animal repeating zodiac cycle, it's the year of the pig. So I wanted to make a craft that incorporated some geek themed piggies. Today, I'm making lucky money envelopes with some pigs you might recognize. For this craft, you'll need these materials. At least six sheets of regular red paper, the printed template you can find in the description box below, a pencil, I recommend a regular number two pencil over a mechanical pencil for this craft. If it's dull, that's even better. Scissors, gold paint, a paintbrush, and a cup of water for it. Lastly, a glue stick. First, cut out the template. Next, Trace the template straight onto each of the six pages of red paper. Then cut them out. Fold all of the flaps down towards the center to add some creases. It's gluing time. First, fold the longer side flap down and add some glue along its edge. Fold the shorter side flop down on top of this. Lastly, add glue to the bottom flap and fold it over the side flaps. Yay! Envelope complete! Repeat these steps to assemble the other envelopes. Here comes the fun part. It's time to add the pig designs. Cut the design templates out separately. Here are the designs I made. Oolong from Dragon Ball. Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Spider Ham from Spider-Man, Ganon from The Legend of Zelda, Pigma Dengar from Star Fox, and Roadhog from Overwatch. There are many different geeky piggies to choose from, but these were my personal top six. Alrighty, so now I'm going to copy these design templates onto the red envelopes by using a pencil transfer method. With the pencil, trace over the design template, making sure your coloring is very dark. So be sure to use a bit of pressure while tracing the image. Once you have finished tracing over the design template, make sure the top is correctly facing up, matching the open area of the red envelope. Flip it over and place it on the front of the envelope. While securely holding the design template down with one hand, color with pressure to transfer the pencil lines from the front of the design template onto the envelope. Keeping one of your hands firmly down on the template, take a little peek to double check if the design has fully transferred before you continue. Let's make these lines shine. Very, very carefully, trace over the pencil lines on the envelopes with gold paint and a paintbrush. 
Repeat these steps with the other envelopes as well. Chinese, or Lunar New Year, takes place on a different date each year depending on the phases of the moon, and is celebrated throughout Asia. Although the exact date for 2019's Lunar New Year is February 5th, in many countries it's celebrated for at least a week or longer, from the Spring Festival leading into the Lantern Festival. These red envelopes that are called Hongbao or Laisi are filled up with money and are given out by married couples to mostly children, but also singles of all ages, including employees and colleagues, with single being defined here as not married. They're also common for weddings, graduations, and birthdays, but I'd say they're most known for being given out during New Year's. The practice of this tradition is supposed to bring good luck and prosperity to everyone involved. Nowadays, it's actually really popular for newer generations to forego the physical envelopes completely by sending money electronically to friends and family through the WeChat app. The red color symbolizes good luck it is supposed to help ward off evil spirits. I should mention there are a lot of superstitions embedded into the culture and traditions. For example, you should avoid the number four in general, but also especially during New Year's, because that could mess up the rest of your year. This is because in multiple Asian languages, the word that means four is homophonous for the word for death. And hey, quick shout out to Guido Mista from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5. Anime fans know what's up. Similarly, a few common lucky numbers are 6, 8, and 9, which is why I chose 6 designs for this craft. It's also important to make sure the money amount within the red envelopes is even. Odd number money gifts are associated with funerals, or in some regions, weddings. The latter of which is because odd numbers are more difficult to divide. Despite 9 being an odd number, it's very lucky and serves as an exception because it is homophonous for the word for long and is the largest digit. The lucky money tradition began in part by coins having the design of having a hole in the center of them, which in turn led them to being carried by lacing them together on a red string. The red paper envelopes became popularized as printing presses became more available. Some of the runner out geek themed piggies I was considering were Peachin from Ranma One Half. Page from Beyond Good and Evil, Tauntaun from Naruto, Waddles from Gravity Falls, and the Pig Mask from Saw, which, despite being horror, would have really been on the nose, I think. <laughs> which geek-related pig is your favorite? The last three dates for the Year of the Pig were 2007, 1995, and 1983. I'm not really into the zodiac or horoscopes, but it can sometimes be interesting to see what kind of traits the animals are supposed to have. People born in the year of the pig are supposed to be easygoing, optimistic, and loyal, yet also gullible, materialistic, and lazy. Pigs are supposed to be good matches with the tiger, rabbit, sheep, and sometimes the ox. But watch out for the snake and the monkey though. What's your zodiac sign? I'm actually really pleased with just how shiny these are in person. Many Lucky Money envelopes have metallic gold printing on the cover, so I'm glad mine turned out really shiny too. As a kid, I remember getting really excited over receiving my lucky money. <laughs> to this day, 
celebrating the holiday is very important to me. I really love going to the local New Year's festivals too. I strongly recommend checking out any events in your area for lion, dragon, other traditional dances, martial arts demonstrations, <laughs> and mouth-watering food. Thank you for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it and want to support me, join the Stella fam by subscribing to my channel. Stay stellar!